What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the DC edition of the Raging Nation show. This is Webster's. We're talking about all things that matter to me in the DC Extended Universe. This is episode number 49, and you know what I'm going to do in this video. I just did a trailer reaction and review for Wonder Woman. It was awesome. And now I'm going to check out Justice League. This footage was screened at Hall H at the Justice League panel at San Diego Comic Con, which is happening right now. And I'm surprised that they even let this footage out online, but I figured that, you know what, they might as well, because they should start building hype up for this movie, all right? And uh, let's check it out. I'm gonna do a reaction, then I'm gonna give you a little bit of a review for this video, or rather this footage, okay? Here we go. What the heck? That was it? Okay, alright. That's a little bit odd. Oh, wow. They just changed it up. Like, like a lot. You know, I'm really curious about the reaction at the actual panel because this was a little bit, um... I'm not going to say that it's underwhelming. What I will say is that the tone is just completely different. I mean, we've seen Man of Steel, which you know, had a very um, somber kind of uh, uh, dark, serious tone to it. And Batman vs. Superman and was more or less of the same. Uh, I just saw the trailer for Wonder Woman and it, it feels like a, a, a lighter but still serious tone to it. And it's got that, that Zack Snyder st style of action and, and um, the look of it, right? Even though it's directed by Patty Jenkins. Um, I guess she was trying to emulate Zack Snyder. But still, watching Justice League, this Comic-Con uh, footage, I'm not going to say it's a trailer because it doesn't even look or feel like a trailer. Watching this footage, knowing that this movie is directed by Zack Snyder, it really feels like he took those comments, or rather Warner Brothers and DC Films took those comments to heart. And by comments, I'm talking about the backlash of comments regarding, um, the backlash response regarding um Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. It looks like he really took those comments, uh, uh, didn't take them very well. 
and he changed up the tone by bringing it more lighthearted. Even the look of it is a lot brighter. It, it, it doesn't feel like cold and um, and uh, and uh, edgy like the the uh, like Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. What this feels like is it feels like the Avengers. It just totally feels like the Avengers, and it kind of doesn't work for me. <laughs> I I don't. You know, I, I don't want to say that, but it it just feels off. I mean, Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne was perfect in Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, but seeing him once again, uh, but from the same director, but a different approach, just feels off. And then, of course, you have the comedy from Ezra Miller, Ezra Miller uh, as, um, as, as The Flash, and it, um, I don't know, it, it just, it's just a little bit awkward to me and then what's even more awkward is uh arthur curry uh aquaman and you know it's not like he doesn't look the part but he doesn't have very many lines in this footage which is fine uh because i understand it is just like a kind of like a teaser but uh, all you do is see him grunt and go mm. like well he doesn't even actually do that he just gives menacing looks that's all he really does and who else is there? We get a little brief look at Cyborg, and his his costume is, uh, from what I understand, it's all CG or at least ninety percent or CG or something like that. And uh, it just, um, I I don't know, it just doesn't look great. <laughs> but I know what a Cyborg looks like in the comics. I know what he looks like in the cartoons. Um, uh, but uh, having it translated into live action. Maybe it'll look better. It'll look better um, in the future, but uh, this is a, obviously very, very early. This is like the very first footage, so they probably can do a lot of work to it. This happens a lot with uh, early release trailers where they just release what they can, um, and then they improve the, the CG work later on. Um, we get a brief look at Batman in costume. Um, we get a brief look at um, uh, Wonder Woman, Flash, pretty much everybody. Um... But I think the one thing that really, really stood out to me was was the Flash's costume. It's got a kind of a, it's a very, very different take from what we've seen. When I look at it, um, all I see is the, I don't know if you guys know about this, but the Square Enix Play Arts Kai variant series for the Flash. I think if, I feel like it took inspiration from there because it's very, very, um, it's got a lot of angles and lines to it. It's unlike your typical spandex suit. Uh, it's, it's not like the suit that they have in the, um, the CW Flash series. It's very, very different. And I kind of like it actually. I, I like that it's a different approach because I think that like a, just a, a simple looking suit just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel right in a Zack Snyder movie. Um, so far, the only thing I'm really liking is Wonder Woman. <laughs> but, um, that's all I really got to say in this video. It is, uh, you know, it's cool that they, 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 um, put out this trailer, but I don't know if this was the right footage to put out because it, it didn't blow me away. It didn't need to blow me away, but this was a really just a tease for what's to come. It's a teaser. Okay. Um, uh, but they really put in a lot of, it's a lot of footage of the, the Justice League uh, before their actual Justice League members. So, um, yeah, a lot of, a lot of like, um, awkward comedy bits. <laughs> um, what else do I want to say? Oh, I want to say that, uh, was that a Suicide Squad Easter egg there, you know, in the screen? Um, and also when, when, um, when Barry Allen shows up in his, uh, I guess that's his house, and then Bruce Wayne is there... The, I was just thinking right away that's a total total uh, Easter egg to Flashpoint Paradox. <laughs> so it's cool that they're putting all that stuff in there. And there's going to be more of that stuff uh, later on, of course, when we watch the movie. But anyways, that's all I got to say in this video. Uh, why don't you guys let me know how you feel about the, the footage in the comment section below. I will leave a link to the trailer or the footage in the uh, description box. Okay, anyways, that's all I got to say in this video. Uh, let me know your thoughts. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.